Right, day one of uploading every day for 25 days. Anyways, today I'm gonna show you how to make this Valorant transition that you are seeing on screen. Now what you'll need is of course Vegas Pro and also Sapphire plugin. So if you don't have that, make sure you get that and let's begin with the tutorial. Right, once you're in Vegas, you gotta check that you got the correct settings applied. So go to options, make sure quant size to frames is checked. Go to preferences, video and make sure GPU acceleration is turned off just like that and now another thing is is that we're doing this tutorial in 60 fps but if you want to do it on 30 then every single time i go six frames forward or 12 you're gonna go half so if i go six frames forward you're gonna go three frames forward and this is for people who are on 30 but if you're on 60 like me then you're good to go and you're fine to follow the tutorial as i tell you but anyways i'm gonna drag in my clip uh, you can have two clips or one, it doesn't really matter. But first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the beats of the song. So let me find those. Alright, and these are the two kill beats of my song. So a kill is gonna be here and over here. And now I'm gonna drag in my clip. So once again, you can have one or two clips. And yeah, now I'm gonna sync my first kill to this kill beat. So let me do that. Right, and once you have the first kill synced, uh, what you want to do is put your first clip on where the second kill beat is and make a new video track. And you're going to drag this one up. So then, of course, find your next kill. So boom, here's my next kill. I'm going to drag that straight onto the second kill beat. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Now you want to decide where you want your transition to begin. So usually uh, after the first kill, you want to go about, I don't know, like half a second in. So 30 frames in. And this is basically where you want your transition to start. Of course, it depends on the song. But for me, this fits nicely. Now, once you have marked where you want your transition to start, uh, you want to go between 35 and 40 frames forward. This is like the spot that I found the transition to work the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 35 frames forward. So what you want to do is make sure you're on the, you know, marker or whatever. You want to double click on here, backspace plus 35 or 40, whatever, and click M once you're here. So this is 35 frames long. And basically once you've done that, you can drag in your second kill. And this is basically where your transition will end. So this is the beginning and this is the end. And now I'm going to go to the end of the transition. So over here, and I'm going to take a screenshot. But before you take a screenshot, make sure that in this frame over here, at least you have a gun and some walls because, you know, we, have, we need to make the transition. And if you don't have the gun inside the frame or something is missing, then you should find another clip or another frame. But anyways, this is nice. So how to take a screenshot? Well, you gotta go here to this save icon, you click on it and you save it as a JPEG. You click save and boom, it should appear in your project media. So now we're gonna make a few video tracks. I'm gonna make like five new video tracks like this. Now I'm gonna drag in my image and then you wanna splice it up. So make sure that it fits in this transition area like that. And now we're gonna do the boring part, which is basically masking. So go to the beginning of the transition click on this button it's pan and crop make sure you enable masking and make sure this is ticked so sync cursor make sure it's ticked anyways click on the mask sort of keyframe over here and now you can start masking so the first picture is what will come in the transition first so i like when guns come in first and then the walls come in later so i'm gonna mask the gun out so you can click this button to move it around and then you can click this pin tool anchor creation tool to start masking so let me mask out this real quick as you can see you're just clicking it around what you want to mask simple as that right make sure at the end that it connects to the first dot that you made and boom as you can see you have your first mask and once you're satisfied what you want to do is copy this and paste it on the next layer like that and go back to the mask so now we're gonna decide what's gonna come next so i want this wall to come in next so i'm gonna reset the mask right click reset make sure you're on you know the only keyframe on the first frame over here and yeah you can move it around zoom in and then start masking you know the wall or whatever you got and boom, we have masked out the wall. As you can see, there's the wall. So now we can move on to the next one. Once again, copy it over. Go to the first frame, open a pan and crop, and reset the mask. So now I want this sort of alleyway to appear. Not this wall, but this sort of alleyway. So that's what I'm going to mask next. 
as you can see it can be a little random so don't worry about that just make sure you know to make it make sense make it look like a puzzle and boom we have done this sort of alleyway let's close it out and let's copy and paste go to pen and crop reset the mask and now we can mask out the left wall just like that the wall is done and finally we have got the floor so let's copy this go to pan and crop right click reset the mask make sure we're on the first keyframe and let's mask out the floor boom here we have the floor mask and yeah we're basically done with masking and now we can apply the effect All right so once you have finished masking you want to drag in an effect and that is called blur more curves over here s underscore blur more curves you're gonna drag this onto the bottom picture and then we're gonna keyframe it so what you want to do is enable keyframing and then make sure you're on the start of the transition you want to drag this down then as you can see the gun will go down so you want to drag it all the way down so that you cannot see it then you want to go 12 frames forward so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 put this to 0 0.015 as you can see it's gonna lift up a little bit then you want to go four frames forward one two three four and then set this to zero just like so now what you want to do is set all of these points to a fast fade so right click on this one fast right click on this one fast it will sort of you know go in fast now what you also need to do is make sure a shutter duration this is at 0 0.8 just like that and you have made your first sort of transition so instead of doing this all over again uh, what we can do is just copy this so right click on the you know thingy that you made the effect on click copy now go to the second image right click selectively paste event attributes select video effects and effect keyframes click ok and this will only paste the effect and just like that but as you can see uh, the wall is not supposed to come from the bottom it's supposed to come from the side so we're gonna fix that so you want to disable you know shift y set it back to zero just like that then you want to enable keyframing for a shift x and you want to drag it to the side just like that to the right then you want to go 12 frames forward 11 12 set this to minus 0 0.15 because this will go a little bit to the left and then go four frames forward one two three four set it to zero and as you can see it's gonna bounce back so once again right click on this keyframe fast fade right click on this one fast fade as you can see we already have this um and as you can see the wall is sort of going over the gun but we're gonna fix this at the end but yeah, once you have this uh we can actually copy the bottom one so let's copy the bottom one copy and paste it on the third one so once again selectively paste event attributes this is selected click ok as you can see this one's gonna go down but i want it to come from up so what we're gonna do is go to you know the beginning of shift y and we're gonna put it up now sometimes as you can see i put it at the max but this thing is you know still visible so what you can do is just you know name your own value so put it at something like 0 0.6 or even 0 0.7 and as you can see this will disappear so we have fixed that it's gonna come from the top but now what we gotta do is set this value over here to instead of 0 0.015 to minus 0 0.015 and as you can see it's gonna go down and then it's gonna bounce back up just like that as you can see boing you know simple as that so now we have got the left wall so we can copy the second one because the second one was you know the wall as well so let's paste it on the fourth one selectively paste third option okay go to effects as you can see it's coming from the right side we want it to come from the left so we're gonna click on the first keyframe drag it to the left instead like that and as you can see it will come you know from the left side now we're gonna fix this as well so this one instead of minus 0 0.015 we're gonna just set it to 0 0.015 and as you can see it's gonna boom bounce back so finally we have the flooring over here this one is the floor so we can go ahead and copy the gun because you know the gun went from the bottom and the floor is also gonna come from the bottom so paste it on to the last image just like that and for this one we don't need to do anything because as you can see it's all gonna just you know come in just like that so now we're gonna fix the transition because as you can see the gun or like the wall is clipping the gun so we're gonna move the bottom image all the way to the top and as you can see now the gun the gun will basically be on top and it will look more clean but what you want to do now is go to the start of the transition and mark every five frames so i'm gonna show you what i mean so go one two three four five 
place a marker with M. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click a marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. M. 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 So as you can see, it's five spacings each time. And this will help us sort of make the transition sort of come in one piece at a time. Right, so this is going to be a little tricky to understand. But basically, this is the gun. We want a gun to come in first. And then we can have the wall come in next. So this is the wall. Drag it to this point that's like the next point then we want to maybe have this sort of alleyway come in so this thing wants to come in next so we're gonna drag it over here as you can see it's coming together gun comes in wall and then this one then we can have the left wall come in so we can drag it on the next you know marker as you can see it's coming come in later like that and then finally we have the floor so we can drag the floor over here and if you replay this as you can see gun comes in this comes in you know Everything like that comes in like that. So now we want to make sure we remove these things. As you can see, they're sort of in the way. So we just want to drag them back. Make sure they all end at the last keyframe. You know, where the transition ends. And yeah, that's how you make the transition. So we can see how it looks like. So that's how it looks like. Now if you want to spice up the transition, you can add a few things. So when you first get the kill on this kill, uh, you can add a sort of pan and crop effect. So let me just do that real quick. So go to pan and crop, add a keyframe on when you get the kill. Go like towards the end, somewhere around here, towards the end. And zoom it in a little bit. So now if you make this keyframe fast fade, uh, what will happen as you can see after it gets the kill, it slowly zooms in. And then the transition happens. What you can also do is, if the transition looks kind of weird, uh, it's probably because of the first clip velocity. As you can see, you know, the first clip, it turned to the left side. So you can slow it down as always. You can set it to, I don't know, 20. As you can see, it's going to be slower. And then to once again spice it up even more, you can add some laggy effect to the transition. So what it's called is posterize time. For this one, you'll need BCC plugins. So you want to drag this onto each one and set the value to two. So drag it onto each one of the images, just like that. And then what this will do is make the transition more sort of cartoony looking. As you can see, it looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. But yeah, you do what you want with this transition and what I showed you right now. And yeah, that's about it. But I thank you for tuning in with the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.